Whoever messed with Safi's car is in the other timeline. I need to get to the other timeline. Hey, Facebox man. Did you see any murderers on the loose? No? Things are good, sir. All's quiet on the North Quad. What I did, I move the record to. Keep that shit to myself, right? Sorry. You know how it is. Job gets a little slow. You looking for something to do, Jankowski? You're supposed to be turning out charges from those damn kids. Charges, sir? Nobody's causing any trouble. There's always trouble. You're just too lazy to find it. I'm not sure what you mean. What should I be looking for? You stupid or something? Drugs, Jankowski. Booze, cash, petty theft. What do drugs have to do with our murder, sir? They might not be murderers. But none of those kids is innocent. They're just kids being kids. Honestly, they all seem pretty shook up about what happened. I feel kind of bad even being here. Who's the CEO here? You trust me? Sure. You're the boss. We watch out for our own. Checking in an hour. Sir. Would Safi even want a memorial tree? And would Yasmin insist if she didn't? God, does everything on this side have to look so dead? student prank or horrifying creature, the world may never know. I need to find a place to cross to the other timeline. Hey, can I get some advice? Is it weird if I acted sexy with my sort of dead friend's mom's employee? Last time I was at this bench was different. Where did this new power come from? 
Is Rewind gone forever? Lucky for me, one question clearly takes priority. How do I protect the Zafi I have left? Should I be worried? The last time I had powers, everything went to complete and utter shit. It looks like someone added Safi's name. That's, that's actually really sweet. Whoever messed with Safi's car is in the other timeline. I can't believe you dragged me outside for this. First of all, they're way too big to be normal. Secondly, look at those toes. They're all sorts of fucked. Ugh, that's because they aren't toes, genius. They're claws. These are classic bird tracks. Can we go now? I want to get back home before this edible kicks in. Oh, wow. I hate that these are on both sides. I know these look like bird tracks, but there's more. Check it. Webbing. Hell, the size of these things. Uh, I know where you're going, so just don't. I'm not gonna risk losing my extremities for the shit. For a wild dinosaur chase? The Vermont Awful is not necessarily a dinosaur. Personally, I prefer the Griffin version of the story. Head and wings of an eagle, tail and body of a lion. I'm only interested- Nothing like a fun mystery to get you out of bed, huh, guys? There are reports of the Awful dating back to the early 20th century. Oh, you mean back when some knob looking for attention could make a... Hey, can I get some advice? Is it weird if I acted sexy with my sort of dead friend's mom's employee? Abraxas was at the snapping turtle when the skull went missing. Finn's head of Abraxas. Maybe he knows something. Sophie told me the campus would be gorgeous for the holidays. Glad I actually get to see that here. That's my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? Score! Diamond a gazillion points. Reggie's hero. I thought we said no more ambushes. Stop whining, you're fine. But the snowball war got called off in Dead World. I don't think this is the other timeline. It must be some other one.
I wonder if the artist who made this lived in Halogen House at some point. If some hot chips don't get you an A, I don't know what will. This world's Ven also seems to enjoy an audience. And uh, don't get cute either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? Like you were never young. <laughs> young, yes. Dumb, maybe. Insufferable, never. Never is certainly a word. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension, etc. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. What does Vin have them looking for? Let's say I find your missing patience. Then... I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? This world's Ven also seems to enjoy an audience. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. Oh, come on. I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. Interesting endeavor, maintaining snow art. Men. What's stopping you from dressing like this?
Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. Diamonds in Nebraxas. Maybe she knows what Ven is looking for. Waiting for someone, Diamond? Mm-hmm. Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Moses probably just got distracted off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? That one on the left is super into me. I danced with him once, once at a club last week. He's cute. I get it. I guess, if that's your vibe. <laughs> My sights are set a bit higher. Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxis-like behavior. Why are they focused on you? <laughs> Vin's shook. I'm an actual threat to his reign and he can't abide competition. I think Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll uh, go ask the goon squad. Good call. They have our man, and he knows too much. Hey, shh. Huh? Oh. H hey there. Oh, uh, hey. What did Ben put these guys up to? Hey, so Diamond told me she doesn't feel comfortable with you two staring at her. You tell me what Ben's looking for, and I won't I tell should him see you're what those on a fellow graph to him. Good talk. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying without them catching me. Ben's lackeys aren't in this world, but I might be able to hear them from this side. Vin's phone? And they think it was Diamond. I can use this. Take us out of the Braxis. But Vin won't find it. He'll have to move us up the rings, right?
don't get it. Diamond is in practice. This world's Vin also seems to enjoy an audience. I can't imagine what you're going through. Losing your phone and all. Yeah. Did you find out who took it? That wasn't part of the deal. Wasn't that implied? If I want to find Vin's phone, I should talk to Diamond. Maybe she can lead me in the right direction. So... If you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Vin's phone. Uh, seriously? <laughs> they think it was me? <laughs> the clownery! Of course they do. Of course. I take it I was right to assume they're full of shit. Always a safe assumption. But if you find out who did it, tell them I owe them a drink. So, are you and Vin rivals? Enemies? To hear him tell it? Both. And to hear you tell it? Vin is one of those yappy little purse dogs who swears he's a pit. You don't exactly strike me as the typical, uh, Abraxan. In the Vin Lang mold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. You ever think about being, I don't know, Abraxas' boss? <laughs> Queen. <laughs> High priest. President. I would love to. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, if you talk to Vin again, Tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. Time to clear Diamond's name. So, bad news, I'm not sure who took it. Good news, it wasn't Diamond. Well, how was that good news? One more data point than you had before. So, 
about my question. I'm free Tuesday after seven, and I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. That's whiskey? <laughs> yes, but damn, do I have so much to teach you. So your place or mine? Sounds like a profoundly underwhelming evening. Oh, don't knock it till you've tried it. So, someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would... Do something like that, though. You mean, who in Abraxas would? It's esoteric enough to feel like the handiwork of your, uh, organization. <laughs> A cow skull. What are we, Leonard Skinner? Come on, this one is way outside our wheelhouse. Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. We're performers. The audience wasn't impressed. That's how you know it wasn't us. Besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Wild, right? Mm. I loved keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Ben, what did you do? Wise words.
Hope Venn's back at his desk now. I still have questions for that guy. Time to follow up with Vin about that windshield slip. Let's see if I can't make this canary sing. That's just coffee. Vin knows too much about what happened with Sophie's car. Time to see a man about a cow skull. She's staring holes into Yasmin's portrait. I wonder why. I should head over to Admin and get some answers out of Vin. Vin's probably back at his desk right now. Fancy. Looks like Caledon spared no expense. Guess Vin found his phone. Hey! You found it! Kudos! Max! Sorry to startle, just... That was good luck, finding it so fast. Oh, right. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm such an idiot. I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Coming back to the cow skull, earlier... You guessed that it went through Sophie's windshield. But I never said that part. Lucky guess? I mean, how else would you get a cow skull into a locked car? I mean, things are huge. <laughs> I guess. Why are you asking about this? Sophie's a big girl. Let her deal with her own shit. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, 
No, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Fuck. It's gonna lock if I get it wrong again. Come on, Vin. I'm not an idiot. What's actually going on here? Why does everybody always think I'm up to something? What's really going on, Max? Is I'm having a dog shit day. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. It slipped my mind. Magician scientist? My <laughs> Brex's shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. Uh, can you just... I don't know. Uh, I'm not at my best right now. Sure. Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Good thing I know another Vin. Looks like this Vin is taking a break. Hey, uh, Vin? Can I ask for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Damn. Well, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> Vin does owe me a favor. question. Do you know anything about a dead magician scientist? Jack Parsons? Occultist rocket scientist? Oh, maybe. What about him? Nothing, really. I just... They killed him, you know. Just like JFK. Oh. What, um, year did that happen? Hey, any more questions and I'll have to charge you. <sighs> right, of course. Jack Parsons, surely this place has a book on him somewhere. award? Why, yes. Yes, it is. I should start flipping through these books. Okay, Encyclopedia, do you have a certain occultist rocket scientist for me? No Jack Parsons here. Jack Parsons was a magic-y rocket scientist, so maybe he's in here? Isaac Newton. Wrong scientist guy.
Come on, show me Jack Parsons. Alistair Crowley. Nope. The library might have a book on Jack Parsons. Pretty sure Myvin said Jack Parsons was an occultist. So history of the occult seems like a pretty safe bet. Here we go. Jack Parsons was found dead in the destroyed remains of his personal laboratory in 1952. Thanks, Mr. Parsons. Sorry about you getting blown up and all. I guess other Van was looking for answers too. Huh, the cards are different here. Yasmin wiped out her whole schedule for this disciplinary hearing of Gwen's. Yikes. What a cute little guy. Huh, this one's not broken. He won a drama award. Shocker. A Krampus of your very own. Very macabre chic, but I guess that's Ben's brand. That's a lot of canceled meetings. I wonder if it has anything to do with that disciplinary hearing of Gwen's. Looks like Ben takes it back. Sweet, now he can unlock his phone. I hope this is the right code. Ah, success. I'm sorry, Ben. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but I need to know if
if you had anything to do with this. Food pics, food pics, mirror selfie, mirror selfie, shirtless mirror selfie. Sophie. 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 There's a lot of Sophie in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Wow, that is really close. Who even were you, Sophie? I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Sophie. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Vin and Sophie sleeping together? Gwen killing Sophie's book deal? I have no idea what any of it means. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe! Everyone stay back! Give him some space. He's having a panic attack or something. I'm not I... fucking crazy. I know what I saw up there. All right, an authority figure has arrived. Sort of. Worry about. Let's give him some space. Can you run and get him some water? You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? The fucking Overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. It's okay. I'm not mad. I just want to know what you were doing up there. Remember in your seminar, how you said we should take photos of things that scare us? <sighs> well, A plus for following directions, then. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Another me. Walking around. Working on the puzzle box, the, the one that I gave you earlier. What did this other you want? I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Uh, did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell... Loretta, thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max.
time to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not just gonna let me by, is he? There's no way around that cop without getting spotted. some equipment on the overlook can i sorry miss this area is secure active crime scene you'll have to wait in the other timeline safi's alive so no reason for a cop to be blocking the way there
Better start heading up to the Overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. This looks a lot like Sophie's favorite candy, but hers is called Sour Cats, not Heart Stoppers. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. here are way off. I should look into why. Oh, be right back. Oh, shit. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Oh, no. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Better look around to see what other freaky shit is going on. F's in the chat for a sanctuary, a three-dimensional exploration. The bigger the art project, the more of the path it blocks when it falls. From here, I should be able to make it up to the Overlook. The vibes here are way off. I should look into why. I can't let Officer Cop Cop know I'm behind him. Officer Cop Cop know I'm behind him. Better look around to see what other freaky shit is going on. I've left my phone in some bizarre places, but never this bizarre. Hello? She had a panic attack. 
Any more unexplainable things the universe would like to throw at me today? See something, say something, right? I swear, if these owls could talk. The vibes here are way off. I should look into why. If I tamper with it, the cops will know. Might be another way. Better look around to see what other freaky shit is going on. Jesus, fuck! You've got to be kidding me. Do you think it was a student who didn't like their final grade? I doubt it. Usually those kinds tip me off with an angry, poorly written email. So, do you know who did do this? No. Jesus. Why does it feel like Gwen's always got something wild going on? No matter what timeline I'm in. Trying to avoid me, Max? Uh... Trying not to bother you, actually. good time to bring up Sophie's book. Before I came out, I had this boss, a free thinker, who adopted his worldview wholesale shouty YouTubers. Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. Brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. And of course, I was afraid if I said something, said anything, he'd figure me out. But when I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up. Make him feel as small as he made me. Gwen? What are we really talking about here? <sighs> it's circumlocution, Max. A bad habit, I know. I'll leave a girl a few vices. Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. 
trafficking of a controlled substance on camp. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me dealing to students. Someone who looks like you? This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? That wasn't me, it was my evil twin. No. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their mind. You don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Lucas shouting at his son? Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass? If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! Caledon, to Yasmin, and to feeling powerless. Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. Just get a look at this footage, I might be able to help. I didn't ask for your help, Max. Jesus, I didn't even ask for your company. I just wanted to get stoned and watch that thing burn. <sighs> Whatever. Do what you want. It's too cold for this shit. Gwen, wait. I need to ask you something. Why did you kill Sophie's book deal? Were you going through my computer? What? No, she... she told me, but not why. Jesus. Now, let's see if I can find what Reggie saw. Or thinks he saw. of all this, Hannah? Would you still be inspired? Miss Caulfield, you, uh, out for a stroll, too? So 
something like that. By the way, I appreciated your help with Reggie. Oh, that? It was the least I could do. Reggie's a sweetheart. Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? No, he said he saw himself. Another Reggie. God, that would have messed me up too. I was gonna come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but seeing Reggie like that, I don't know, made it feel real. Wait, suicide tip? One of the B cops let it slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Speaking of opening up, I got a lead. I could cut you in. One second I'm a source and the next I'm a fellow investigator? Sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. I just, I feel like I kind of owe you after the whole Dr. Hunter thing. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then, Maya died a couple years back. Suicide, apparently. You think it's a pattern? Maybe, yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Safi didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern, maybe. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. I have to go. Got your text. Tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. So what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? Well, I did... I did do something. I took Safi's camera. I 
no. That's Moses. That's evidence. Max, I know. I wasn't thinking. I just... When we found her that night, I saw the camera. And I thought the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police. So I brought it back to my office. And then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? That's evidence in a murder case. So I just hid it in there. In my office. Moses! I screwed up, Max. And now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... Unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit! I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Unless you have a key card. Miss Coffee. Sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Mr... That's Detective. Detective Vince Alderman with Vermont State Police. I'll be handling your friend Sophia's case from now on. I'm sorry for your loss, by the way. Moses and I already spoke to police. Several times. Max, nice. it's okay. And I'll be speaking to Mr. Murphy quite a bit more today. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? Definitely the right call. No one feels like partying so soon after Sophie's death. Won't have to deal with Alderman in the other timeline. Wow, these are heavy duty. I can't see anything through them. Is all this going to change now that Alderman's on the case? These open into Moses' office, I think. They're locked. An alderman would hear them opening. I need another way. Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side.
Even when I'm on this side, this picture reminds me of two nights ago. I wonder if it'll feel disrespectful to Safi if I go to this tomorrow. Hey, maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, hey Max. <laughs> That's annoying. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> uh-huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name. Kinda left field, but if you were gonna hide something personal in this lab, where would you put it? If this is about my dream diary, trust me, you'll never find it. I'd never bring it to campus. You never told me you keep a dream diary. And I never will. Pure conjecture on your part. Okay, name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fia to find. Like, something I keep locked away? Yes, yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. The maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. I, rule bender, Max, rule bender. Anyway, <laughs> what's with all the questions? Oh. Moses? You need me to hold something, or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah. I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? No, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses a wrench. The wonders of modern technology have rendered us a turtle with a gun. Worth it. Harold's dishes. I've heard so many jokes about this mysterious office mate that I don't know what's true anymore. There's no way Yasmin would be okay with how Alderman is treating him. Moses is her prodigy. Aw, Maggie's cute. They're all cute, really. Just need to get Moses that wrench. Moses said living on his own for the first time was harder than the astrophysics. He 
Yeah, this is why I'm not a physicist. That's still annoying. Knowing at least one Moses gets a happy Christmas. Can't tell if that makes me feel better or worse. of this mug sure knows her target audience. Ugh, why is it so happy? These are cute. Moses' sister must have visited. Pet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. I can't get over how busy everyone is in this timeline. Did I forget what normal life is like? This is pretty impressive. A lot more complicated than I would have thought. Moses was so excited when this came out. I think he bought seven copies. I feel like I understand this now. Maybe I've gotten smarter with age. I bet Moses knows something interesting about every one of these stars. Where do you keep your kettle? Hang on, Max. I gotta adjust my grip. Hang in there, Moses. I'm getting you that wrench. I thought I'd never hear another dirty joke about this thing. But Safi's alive here. God, I bet every sad poem she ever wrote is being used to justify the suicide angle.
So this is how you set up the infamous depressed Jess. I can see why this character is Moses' favorite. He's always looking up. Moses might actually hate snack residue on his fingers more than he hates scientifically inaccurate movies. Love this cozy little donut corner.
Maybe the other Carla didn't take her wrench back. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. For astronomers who hate the outdoors. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. My birthday gift to Moses. I could tell how badly he wanted to say, but the moon doesn't emit its own light. Oh, Moses, what a horrible reminder. I remember her wearing this earlier that night. Carla must have left her note in the same place as the wrench, right? Just in different worlds? Carla didn't take this one. Better give this wrench to Moses. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. Did Moses draw this? This is beautiful. This must be for working on the mural. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. Better give this wrench to Moses. I bet Moses knows something interesting about every one of these stars. I feel like I understand this now. Maybe I've gotten smarter with age. On a good day, that 3D printer would be making all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, what? Bitch, you did not just- Relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Ugh, oh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. Oh no, were you two up all night? Yeah, and I'll be working on these astronomy finals until sundown. What I'd give to be pulling an all-nighter grading papers instead of all of this. to be a tiny plant in a vial, protected by a team of high-tech androids. Aw, Maggie's cute. They're all cute, really. It hurts to look at this. Moses said living on his own for the first time was harder than the astrophysics.
Better give this wrench to Moses. Moses and Safi, so different and yet so well suited. Better give this wrench to Moses. So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's... Oh, <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. you had an artistic side? Long dormant. Comes with being the only scientist in a family of artsy-fartsy types. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? Just give me just a second. Sure. So the cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. I should check this cabinet on the other side. Hopefully the camera's in there. Definitely need that. Thank God for this, Moses. I couldn't do this without him. Yeah, this is why I'm not a physicist. Will it distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? So, the mural. What's the story there? I made the mistake of telling Safi I used to want to be a comic book artist, as she found a project that would force me to draw. Hmm. We're going to use my star projector to trace the constellation and then draw the twins around it. And Gemini? What's the significance? Really? I chose it because there are two of us and we'd be working on it together. But Safi imbued it with meaning. The scientist and the poet. Duality. She sells it better than me. That telescope, how long have you been working on it? A couple days. Why? Is there anything special about it? A better question would be, what isn't special about it? Misunderstood in its heyday, due in part to its experimental lens design, it's only now being lauded as the revelation it is. Underestimated and later appreciated. May we all be so lucky. <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. That's still 
annoying. I really hope the camera's in here. Damn. This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hid Sophie's camera? Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? I don't remember ever seeing an actual safe in this office. Hey, Moses. Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this up. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are stars everywhere. Oh my god, stop! Maybe that's supposed to be safe. Is the camera around here on the other side? There's so many stars in here. I just need to keep looking. And they're safe on the lower left. Well, it's a star. Maybe the other Moses hit the camera around here.
still haven't found the right star. Where else can I look? Is the camera in here? Come on, Moses. Where did you hide it? No camera. Must not be the right safe. At least Moses hid the camera well, wherever it is. Right, because that would have been too easy. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. And they're safe on the lower left. It hurts to look at this. So safe is actually the star safe. Only Moses. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. The mural. Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. Moses said safe is part of Orion. Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing. I think I got it. Fingers crossed I can find safe on that wall. For astronomers who hate the outdoors. I bet Moses knows something interesting about every one of these stars. And they're safe on the lower left.
So if this is Orion, then safe is... Boom. Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. No, no, no! Shit, I can't let him see me in here. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. Gotta be sure to keep Alderman away from this corner. This is pretty impressive. A lot more complicated than I would have thought. Hey, that's pretty noisy. No, I can't leave without Sophie's camera. I need something loud and distracting. What the hell? Shit! Did I just...? Okay, let's try this again.
Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her. Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her. There's got to be something noisy in here. What the hell? Of course, that hot dog man ornament makes noise. Hot dog time! Definitely distracting. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. Wouldn't want to show up right in front of him. The mezzanine would be the perfect place to set this off. I just gotta make it up there. I literally have no idea how I could be of help. I don't know anything either. I need to get up to the mezzanine. I need to get up to the mezzanine. Here goes. What the hell? 
And now I need to shift out of here fast. What the hell? I can't stay in this timeline. I can't stay in this timeline. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. Hey, is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Fuck. That's... That's new. Holy shit! The telescope and all the parts switched places. Gotta run. Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo, what? Moses. Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. 
going to make any progress on your friend's case. That's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. Dr. Fayed would be grateful as well. Now that is my direct number. No detail is too small to share. You're, you're not bothering me. You're helping your friend's case. Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. Moses, I want to show you something. We don't have to talk about it. Look. Okay, let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all out and see if it gets me anywhere. Oh, Neb. You have such sage eyes. Got any advice for me? I know you're not a magic eight ball, but can you pretend? Is all this going to turn out okay? Outlook not so good? Shit, Neb. I could have told you that. I can't remember when it's been this clean, but it'd be the perfect place to put all my, uh, evidence. Okay, Max. Let's see what we've got. Figures there'd be copies all over campus. I know Vin and Abraxas are entangled in everything that's happening. I just don't understand how yet. While I do want to see this so called incriminating footage of Gwen. It's probably best to wait till Moses leaves to check it. This was meant to be a loud message, but from who? And what does it mean? Guess I understand now why Gwen was so adamant about getting her book out of the case. I still don't understand why Gwen would do this to Sophie. 
Especially since she helped her get the book deal in the first place. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. Hope Moses is doing all right. I should go see if he's gotten Safi's camera hooked up yet. God, Max, how many of these movies are there? It's a horror franchise, Sophie. They don't get good until at least the third one. The real horror is that they found a way to make three of these. Five, actually. So, is this the one where they finally explain how he still walked around with no head, or...? Before she died, Moses was more Sophie's friend. Here, we're all thick as thieves. Wish we'd had a chance to get to this point in our world. Does something come out of here? I too like to strip naked with my friends and dance under the all-seeing eye to demonstrate my commitment to society. I really want to see what Sophie captured on her camera. Moses said he was getting set up in the dark room. want to see what Sophie captured on her camera. Hey, something just happened. It sounded like a panel popped open. This 
mask with some symbols. Where have I seen this before? There has to be somewhere to pop this in. Well, well, well. Max Caulfield, you clever minx. Wait, does the outer dial move now? It does. And so does the inner one. Moses said he was getting set up in the dark room. This means I'm in, right? I'm official Abraxas material? to see what Sophie captured on her camera. Oh, wow. I guess I haven't been home in this world for a couple days. It's like a time capsule of the day Safi died. Weird. We took in a little liquid courage before the polling alley shoot. Sophie's insistence, well, mostly Sophie's.
loved telling Safi how the lens can totally change your perception of a subject. I loved that she didn't need me to explain why that was powerful. Man fears time. Time fears the pyramids. The pyramids fear this plant. I should crack those open eventually. Safi's alive here, and she might ask me what I thought. Moses is waiting for me in the other, uh, world. My dark room here is empty. With Safi alive in this timeline, I, I don't even know what to put here, if anything. Moses said he was getting set up in the dark room. I think my outfit is perfectly max. Unless... Thanks for the assist, friendly inanimate object. It's one thing to love horror movies. It's something else entirely to be living through one. If there's a silver lining, it's that I've got another chance to take a proper candid of you. Can't say it was the brightest idea, especially for an astrophysicist. But I am glad Moses got Sophie's camera. Moses? You okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous? About seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us. To everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? I've been better. Mm. 
I apologize for what I said to that detective. You have to know I wasn't being serious. I was only trying to- Take the easy way? It's nice when you have that option. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Hey, look. Maybe seeing Safi again will help clear the air. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. I swear. Uh, yes it is, Max. It's Photoshop. A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. You sold me out to Alderman. You're covering for yourself. No, Moses. Please. Let me explain. Try to. Well? I have these... powers. Time powers. And somehow Sophie's death is related to those powers. Wait! I can prove it to you. You stay the fuck away from me. 